Hey, my name is Christoph with Click, and today I would like to show you how you can substitute ClickFuse cyclic groups with means of ClickSense, and I think there is nothing missing. Let's have a look. So let's first have a look into good old ClickView and what a cyclic group really is. So a cyclic group you can define in any of the dimensions. When you click on Edit Groups, you can introduce or define a cyclic group. It has that symbol here. And what it really does is it toggles the different dimensions in this object and in any other object that also uses that. For example, director, if I toggle this to actor, watch the chart here on the right, it also changes. So it's like cross object. And in ClickSense, what have we got in ClickSense actually? We have out of the box something called a alternative dimension. So I can toggle within one chart between multiple dimensions that I have defined here, but the other chart, as you saw here below, doesn't really adapt. So that toggling of month into quarter is only within one particular chart. So I had to introduce some more objects for this. So let me show you the final result first, and then we have uh, a look how this is done. So here is a cyclic group one where I can toggle between year, quarter and month. And you can see it uses or it's changing that table as well as the chart. So same like in click view, one place where you change it, multiple places where that change takes effect. And the same here, I can toggle a breakdown between the total and per insurance. And I can even do more. I can change that label to be in German or in English because I set up two different languages. In order to use this, I have a couple of master items here. Um, first of all, I have a visualization called the cyclic group. What this is, is actually what you see here on the top. It's the toggle that I have for each of the groups. And to get to make it work, I also have a dimension called the cyclic group number one and the cyclic group number two. And whenever I use this somewhere on the screen, well, I do get that particular value. So this follows exactly the cyclic group behavior. So let's have a look into the making of. Uh, I think it's even better than in ClickView because I can define my cyclic group in the script. I'm setting here the language, the default language to English. And if you don't like multiple languages, you just use one language. And the key part here is really just this table. And here I can set um, multiple cyclic groups. They are indexed with one identifier. So all the ones belong to one group. And here is the two that belongs to a second group. So all the ones are uh, consist of a field. The field in the data is called year, quarter or month. And then I have a label in English, which happens to be the same. And then there is a label in German, which is a translated label. There is also possible to use formulas. Like all is a constant. So I had to put extra quotes around it, but um, this all really is just a text constant. And the other one is a field name with a blank in between. So I have to put some square brackets around it. And that's it. The rest is a code snippet. You just drop and copy paste, and this will create a few variables for you. And the UI then has a variable called CG1 and VCG2. And VCG1 holds the current selected value of cycle group one and VCG2 holds the current value of cycle group two. And it happens to be that this element here, which is a master visualization, uses a variable drop down from the um, click sense extension bundle. So this is available for all uh, installations of click sense. If you install the bundles, it shows VG1 as a drop down and the values are a formula that you don't need to worry, but it's just reading that data table that we define in the script. It reads the currently selected language and it so to say populates the drop down with the necessary drop down values. So yeah, and now finally, let's have a quick look what the, the cyclic dimension really does. This is fairly easy. It just takes the field that is currently in the variable of VCG1. It could be a field or it could be even a formula as we have seen. And here the label is also taken. It just reads 
the current language label to be displayed in the wherever it is used. So that's why I can switch to a German or English language label here. And that's it. So I don't think you're missing anything. The only difference to click view is that the toggling is somewhere else. It's inside of this element, whereas in click view, we had that toggle in the axis itself. So I hope you liked this video. And as usual, here's a link to subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next video. See you there.